base area at Winter Park looks beautiful this morning. They have nearly a foot of fresh snow at Winter Park if you're lucky enough to uh, go ski or ride today. And that's actually one of the lower amounts. Look at this. Aspen Highlands has almost two feet of snow. This is just in the last 24 hours. Copper has 18 inches. Loveland, Breckenridge, and Keystone all reporting 16 inches of snow. Of course, that nearly a foot at Winter Park would be pretty nice as well. Out to the east, we have a beautiful sunrise. Too bad we can't see it. We're stuck under here. We're underneath of these low clouds that are causing freezing uh, fog this morning. And as Alan mentioned, we have an inversion in place again today. So the pollution is trapped near the ground. That's going to make for unhealthy air for everyone. We're not just talking sensitive groups here like young children or older adults. Everybody unhealthy air. That means you should avoid outdoor exercise today. It's not a day for an outdoor run. You want to be on the treadmill instead. It's just not healthy to be breathing this air on the northwest side of town. We have some of the worst fog that's out there this morning. Broomfield and Golden both reporting quarter mile visibility. Airport is around a quarter mile as well. If you have a flight out or even more importantly, if you're expecting someone to be coming into DIA, definitely check ahead. The flights could be delayed because of the fog. Temperatures 20s and 30s right now. Again, we have the inversion in place today, so lower elevations, generally speaking, will be cooler. Higher elevations a little bit warmer. For example, Castle Rock uh, around 6,000 feet, 57 degrees. Go up to Hudson uh, below 5,000 feet. We're talking 42 degrees there. So a big difference in temperatures depending on where you're at today. Mountain areas, 30s and 40s. We have a winter storm warning until 6 p.m. for the entire I-70 mountain corridor between Georgetown and Eagle. We're looking at an additional 4 to 8 inches of snow today in the mountains. And as we mentioned earlier in the show, an avalanche warning goes until 8 a.m. tomorrow because of that avalanche concern. The snow will finally start to wind down in the high country tonight. Tomorrow, snow showers in the high country, not nearly as much snow as we'll see today. And then after about 2 p.m. tomorrow, we could get some rain in Denver that could turn into a rain snow mix tomorrow night. 30 to 40 percent chance of this happening. And then for the weekend, mostly sunny and cool. Highs in the 40s for the shortest weekend of the year.